yeah, they'll be back. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 comic book characters that die over and over. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're including retcons, fake deaths, clones, alternate universes, and all other kinds of shenanigans. Since we'll be discussing major character deaths and resurrections, we're going to be putting a spoiler alert on this video for comics and other forms of media involving these characters. Have you finally learned to do what is necessary? Number 10, Hawkeye. Every so often, Marvel will introduce a storyline where they need to kill off a number of important characters to give the story some emotional weight. And more often than not, Hawkeye will end up on the wrong side of the death toll. He's been killed in many pivotal arcs, but his most memorable death came when he sacrificed himself to save the team during Avengers Disassembled. But he was eventually resurrected by Scarlet Witch during House of M, only to be killed again in the same storyline. Number 9, Superman. While he is most famous for dying in the aptly named Death of Superman storyline, the Man of Steel has bitten the dust a number of times. Other than the aforementioned death at the hands of the villainous Doomsday, the most common way to kill Superman has unsurprisingly involved kryptonite. Bad guys have killed him using the pesky green rock, going all the way back to his first death in the late 1950s. His other Achilles heel has been magic, of course, which has been used to off Superman a number of times, including when he was, and we're not even joking here, stabbed through the chest with a magic sword by He-Man. Awesome! Number 8, Professor X. Fans of the X-Men films will have seen Charles Xavier's death both in The Last Stand and Logan, but that hardly scratches the surface of the times he's died in the comics. As the founder and mentor of the X-Men, Xavier's death has been used as a catalyst for change in the X-Men and Marvel Universe as a whole. His deaths have included a fake-out, possession by an alien queen, and getting killed by his protege Cyclops, who was possessed by the Phoenix Force. His most meaningful death likely came when he was accidentally killed by his time-traveling son Legion, which initiated the dark alternate timeline known as the Age of Apocalypse. Number 7, Spider-Man. One of the famous early examples of Spider-Man's death came in Kraven's Last Hunt, when he was seemingly shot and buried. Of course, Spider-Man was only tranquilized and dug out of his grave in the next issue. In the Clone Saga, a number of clones of Spider-Man were killed, with the original Peter Parker even dying twice during the arc. Don't ask, it was a bad arc. Spider-Man has gone on to be killed by powerful foes like Doctor Doom, Thanos, and Morlun, the last of which attempted to kill every version of Spider-Man across all realities. His most emotionally impactful death has to be the death of Spider-Man in the Ultimate Universe, where Peter is killed by his nemesis, the Green Goblin, but manages to still save Aunt May. Number 6, Batman. Being the genius that he is, Batman has actually either faked his own death or actually died in order to revive himself a number of times as part of an intricate plan. Of course, being a guy with no superpowers, he's also been killed a few times by various super beings. This includes a time when the near-omnipotent Darkseid seemingly killed him. However, Batman had actually been sent back in time. All in all, the times he's died over his almost 80 years of crime fighting are too frequent to list. He's even seemingly sacrificed at the conclusion of Christopher Nolan's trilogy, at least until he shows up in a cafe. Number 5, Captain America. Cap is the only character on our list whose alleged death is a major part of his backstory. When Cap was reintroduced into the comics after a long hiatus, his absence was explained as an assumed death after having gone down in an experimental plane during World War II. Of course, he was really in suspended animation, frozen in ice, but he's gone on to die, or at least seemingly die, roughly another dozen times over the years. Although he has faked his death on multiple occasions, he has also died during a number of crossover events, most famously during the epilogue of Civil War. Number four, The Flash. In 16 seconds, he will cease. Cease? C cease what? Over the years, quite a few different super speedy individuals have taken on the mantle of Flash, and pretty much all of them have died a few times. While the original Flash, Jay Garrick, has surprisingly managed to avoid death, his successors, Barry Allen and Wally West, have not been so lucky. Uncle and nephew Allen and West both found ways to tap into the Speed Force, which granted them incredible speed and other abilities. So, many of their deaths have been notable sacrifices to save reality by entering the Speed Force. It's no good, Barry. Oh man, Artemis is so gonna kill me for this. And don't even get me started on mom and dad. Kid? Just tell them, okay? Kid! Number three, Elektra. Now for my next trip. No! 
Daredevil's fiery ex-girlfriend and master assassin Electra Nachios with Cheese was created by the legendary comic book writer Frank Miller to be a one-off character, but her huge popularity led to her becoming more prominent in later story arcs. This ultimately led to a storyline that culminated with the famous panel of her being stabbed through the chest by her own side. However, she was brought back by the shadowy ninja organization known as the Hand, and was killed and revived in similar fashion many times. <laughs> Number two, Ra's al Ghul, aka Ra's al Ghul. You're not Ra's al Ghul. I watched him die. But is Ra's al Ghul immortal? Are his methods supernatural? One of the greatest villains in the DC universe and the intellectual equal of the world's greatest detective, this evil mastermind refuses to stay dead. And that's part of the story, actually. Despite being born roughly 600 years ago, the head of the League of Assassins remains an intimidating and powerful force of nature. This longevity is thanks to the aptly named Lazarus Pit, which has the effect of reviving the dead. Unsurprisingly, Roz has appeared and subsequently died in multiple adaptations thanks to his willingness to cheat death. Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number one, Jean Grey. She's gone. For the Phoenix, death and rebirth is to be expected. The first time Jean died, she became possessed by the powerful cosmic entity known as the Phoenix Force, which brought her back to life, something it's done again and again. She's died so many times that sorting through the convoluted history, numerous retcons, fakeouts, and sheer amount of times she's gotten stabbed by Wolverine would take hours. I love you. Jean's multiple deaths over the years have become such a constant that it's even become something of a running joke amongst comic book fans. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.